Barcelona llegó. Wagwan, people, we are back. Maradona in Mexico. Dorado Sustinaloa, episode 7, brothers. And it is the closing stage of the opening stage, if that makes sense. <laughs> you got to close it to open it, brothers. That's what he's got to do. So the Mexican League has an opening stage and a closing stage. We have an opening stage winners. We also have a closing stage winners. Uh, we have two games left of the opening stage. We are joint top with Club America, but they have a plus two goal difference better than us. This is your lineup today. Uh, no Chicarito, unfortunately. No De La Fuente in the house either. So obviously Pugari, the two Pugari brothers. I mean, they're completely different. I think. I think he's a Mexican, 19-year-old brother, and then Luca is uh, Paraguayan, I do believe. But either way, we are two away, and then it's the transfer window, brothers. I don't think we've got much room for negotiations or even doing anything. We will get a new set of uh, Youth Academy players, which should be decent. Hopefully we get some Mexican brothers in there. Remember the rules. You can only have seven non-Mexicano brothers in the house. Just to make it a little bit more realistic. A minute. Oh, 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 back up, back up. <laughs> I do the yapping. These brothers are in talking, in like swimwear. So yeah, we'll have a look what we've got in the Youth Academy. Hopefully you never know we'll get something. We've still got space for a few more foreign players as well. Here's Valero. He's on his own at the moment. Ah, wrong ball though to his next man. And that's the one thing for us. We've been winning games, but only by like a single goal. Rarely we've battered teams, to be honest. And that's what kind of let us down with a little bit of the goal difference this season. The Club America, and they're in. Absolute liberties. I'm trying to do an introduction here. New brothers trying to attack. All right, Sora. Let's see it early. La Pagza. So again, we don't have a clue what's going on with Club America until after the game. That's one thing I do wish Pez would enter into the game. Back in again, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Ball across Picobre. Here's Valero. Gastan Vide. Nice touch inside. Ball through. Ezekiel. Picobre can hold off his man. Can't though. Ezekiel's nearly in there as well. Cleared away though by Chivas. 16 minutes played here. Feel the tension in the air. We want that opening stage title as well as the closing one. Ball whipped in. It's behind everyone. Got way behind. And Villa Panda. Villa Panda? <laughs> Villa Pondo. It's a nice ball round. He's onside. Oh, it's a cross though, but Rodriguez is quick to get out. And then quick to get rid of it as well to Sandoval. Ball inside. Amada. And again, they've given it away. Maradona urging his men forward. Dorado Sinaloa now going to attack him. Mentality. You know, Chivas are just going to stay defensive, so we need to push more players forward. It's a beautiful ball through for Picobri. Oh, can't break through the lines, nearly does. And again, in the end, Chivas clear their lines, but only to the halfway line. Valero's back there. He's taking over. A deep line playmaker. Ball across Picobre. Gastan Vida. Picobre's making that run around the outside. And he's in. Ball across. Picobre again, deflected over. Dorados, good football, working their way around. Saw the runners on the right hand side. Picobre ran behind, trying to cross it to his cousin Picobre. <laughs> We're in the end. Go to the side foot finish. Chivas get to get a foot in straight away. All right, Perez is gonna have to take this. Is anyone that can take a damn corner? Whip it into the back stick, Perez. He has done. Keepers there though. And Perero gets there before Villa Pando. <laughs> I love that guy's name. Whipped in the back stick. Beautiful. Keeper heads. <laughs> Have you ever seen a goalkeeper head it in his own area? No need. Oh, strike from distance. Can we can't get a foot onto it. Villapondo into Purilio. Surely offside. We play on. And again, they push players forward. This is where Dorados can maybe cut inside, do something. Ezekiel, stay onside. He does. Ball with tip. Begobby. Looks like he's about to launch his own foot. Oh, just stolen off Ezekiel's toe as well. Five minutes till half time. The Raros don't want half time to come. They can sense a goal coming here. Ball in. Copobre. Takes a touch. Ferreros through the gap. Again, they've read it well, Chivas. You have to admit they are defending well. But they can't get their own attacks on the goal. Dorados is breaking everything up early doors. But this is where maybe they can. There's a counter attack on. And they're in. And this could be just Dorados' look. But there, Moreno's there. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Fell over each other in the end. That would have been bad news for Dorados that I've had it in. Absolute calamity defending. 
corner ball. Sandoval will take it. Ball it's across. Again, be another corner ball. Referee, no damn whistle, man. Let him have all these corners. Let's do this again. Take your time, brother. Take your time. It's okay. It's only half time. Honestly. Ball across. Cleared lines in the end. That's got to be it, ref. Pump back into the box, though. Surely this time. There is the half time whistle. So Chivas nil, Dorados nil. Yet again, a lot of possession from us, but not many strikes off. We are missing Chicharito today. Right, I've a few words of inspiration at half time. And Dorados back out again. Nice baller through the middle. And Picovri can get onto it first time. Picovri, what a save! And Dorado straight away. Trying to pin him back in. His Leo had a quiet game so far. Picobre on the edge of the box. Can't get anything working. Has to work it out wide. Perez, he can whip him in beautifully. Picobre's in again. Another last ditch defending from Chivas. Here's Willy Perez one more time. Inside, Leo. There's not much in the way of movement in there. Picobre, one more. Sees Ezekiel on the far side. Beautiful. Oh, come on. The right back was on. Ezekiel left it. Ezekiel left it. Gaston Vidi made the run. That was the whole ball. Referee. That was shocking. That's shocking referee. That. Ezekiel didn't even touch it. He even put his arms in the air. He was like, look, let it roll. The referee said he had something influenced in play. It influenced Jack. Ball in behind. And they've come in again. And Chivas are in. T Sora when called upon. Chivas hitting us with that counter attack themselves. If we lose this game, we can guarantee we've lost the opening stage title. And to be fair, the closing stage is the one we want. It's the one that gets us in the Copa Telepidores. Ah, come on, man. Unlucky. Corner ball. Alright. Ball across. Intercepted again by Gaston V. That's beautiful. And away go. Dorado to Sinaloa. It's Picobre. Keeps hold of it well. Not many options up there for Picobre. He's going to get shielded out in a minute. All Chivas players back in, in numbers in the box. Played across. Ah, and again, Dorados just give the ball away. But we cycle possession beautifully. And Perez again is making those runs on the far side. Perez with it in. Surely head of the post. He's dropping in the net. Surely referee. And then he's hammered in. Calls the ball over the net. But hammered in at the end by Picobre. And Dorados finally have the lead. Maradona punches the air in celebration. But how on earth did this first ball not go in? Perez with a cross. Picobre the header. Surely that's across the line. <laughs> what defending. And I feel for that defender. Because Picobre is waiting there just to rifle it in. And that's Picobre the striker. Luca Picobre. First header down. And this, how oh, would this not cross the line? What defending that was. <sighs> but Picobre just volleys it back in. And Dorados finally have the lead. Chivas nil. Dorados still a lower one. But we need more than one, boys. You know that. We've got a minus two goal difference on Club America. So if they win their games, regardless of what happens, uh, they will win the opening stage of the Mexican League. Ball out wide. Sandoval. Nice little move to uh, <clears throat> Ponce. <laughs> Back wide to Mia. Long ball over the top. Moreno's there, deals with it well. Only as far as the Chivas player though. Out wide to Sandoval again. Ah, I'm looking Moreno, it's okay. Let's make some changes. Gaston Vidi's probably had enough as well. And Solo. Han Solo, get yourself on, brother. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And let's get Pash on. Pash on for fashion. All right. Let me make the changes, ref. Thank you. Well played, brothers. All right, nice three changes at once. Maradona's men. Get back in on goal side. You do that every time to me, Pez. Watch the runners. Watch the runners, brothers. Ball across is going deep. Dealt with easily in the end. Here's Sanchez. Back into Villa Pondo. Intercepted by Leo. And Leo can break. 15 minutes to go for Dorado Sinaloa. Maradona pushing them forward. He shouldn't do really. Should really just take the three points. But they want extra goals, and they're in again. Oh, and it was. I do believe it was Aya in there with the final shot. Just couldn't get enough power on it. 
Out wide to Ponce, Sandoval. Chivas again, not really going with the attacking mentality. I think at the moment their opening stage is pretty much done. They can't really challenge for the top lot. They're going to try and win the closing stages, but headed away again. Ball played up. Beautiful. Nice little spin move. Here's Leo. We've got the man in the middle. One on one. Surely Dorado should finish this off now. Shot and goal. Getting Leo. A little bit greedy. His teammates asking the question. Ball across. It's surely it now, though. Dorado again saved by the keeper. All of a sudden, Chief, that's absolutely capitulating. <laughs> With the biggest word I know. All right. Agarov comes on. Well, like I said, in the second stage of the season, we're going to have to be ruthless. We're going to have to find a rhythm where we're battling three or four goals in. Ball across. Nicely done. Again, Dorado's trying to play the way through. They do get a free kick. We're talking injury time now. It looks like three points are going the way, but Dorado's could do with this goal going in. Hopefully, America only win by a single goal. It will be Perez. It's going to have to be Perez. Oh, we could use passion for fashion, but let's use Perez. All right. What can you do, really? I reckon about, what you saying about there? Yeah. Up and over the wall, up and over the wall, around. Oh, side netting, damn. A lucky Perez, brother. Nice try. All right, last two minutes of injury time. Like I said, it looks like Dorados could be heading towards three points. We never know, Chivas are in now, though. Ball across. Cleared lines. Just. Perez will clear it finally, and Dorados do get that 1-0 win. And like I say, defensively, awesome. We're getting them single goals, but will it be enough to win the opening stage? Chivas nil, Dorado Sinaloa one. All right, brothers. Well deserved win in the end. Picobre with the man of the match. Awesome finish in the end. Uh, so America won 2 0 against Leon. <sighs> Damn. So that means again they've got a goal difference of plus three on us. Look at that. We haven't got Zidi hardly any, but we're just not scoring many. But look at that. So we need Club America to lose their last game or to draw for if we're going to win the opening stage. Like I say, it's not the end of the world. Um, it would be nice to win the opening stage as well. We've got Tijuana away. Um, but like I said, we've got a closing stage if need be. So we've got this one here, club ranking update. Um, and then, like I said, we're heading into the second stage of the season. Like I said, we might just do one season here, then maybe hit Argentina or you, uh, Brazil, let me know. But in the end, uh, Club America are away at Quetararo. So, Quetararo, let's have a look while they're doing the league. Uh, I think they're doing absolutely awful. 13th. Only won four games all season. Well, we've got um, Tijuana in 10th position. So, you never know, it could go anyway, it could go anyway. But let's get it. Uh, Tijuana versus Dorado Sinaloa. We'll find out straight at the end of the game if we are the opening stage champions. If not, we hit the second stage, brothers. And I'll see you at kickoff. All right, brothers. Last game of the opening stage of the season. Club Tijuana versus Dorado Sinaloa. The brothers are there, penned in, <laughs> celebrating like mad. Here's Tijuana. And again, they don't want us to win this game. Rivalry throughout. The goalkeeper's forgot the shirts. He's wearing somebody's jammers. What the hell are you doing, brother? Well, here they are. Tijuana coming out here. Well, again, that's one place I do want to visit is Tijuana. My goodness. But look at the stadium. Got Camacho in the house. Miranda's in there. And then Tijuana. Final game of their opening stage. So it means we will play Tijuana at home in the second stage of this season. But can we win the opening stage? Will Club America slip up a Quartario? We have to win, remember. We do need to do better than America. The Dorado Sinaloa fans growing in numbers each week. Making the trip down to Tijuana. Can we get it, brothers? Javi Hernandez is back in. Uh, Noriega is out, though, so Yeager comes in for him. And De La Fuente is back in as well. Um, I will change Chicorito's number to number 14 when it comes to the... Uh, obviously, a bit where I can do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, brothers, this is how it looks so far. And again, big up all those brothers that are watching this series. It's not getting many views, but it's something different on the channel. Something you to watch. It's something different for me to play as well. I'm enjoying being in Mexico. And so here is your 11. Like I said, uh, Moreno's back in for Vivas again. Ezequiel's in there still. Valente, uh, De La Fuente, sorry, is back in. Uh, Hernandez. So <coughs> a couple of tired legs out there, but enough to see him through these final 90 minutes. And then we have a couple of weeks off. 
We're still in the Mexican Cup as well, so we've got that to look forward to in the second half of the season. But can we win the opening stage? Let's get it. Tijuana versus Diarados in Sinaloa. Last game of the opening stage. Can we put a nice win together to close off the opening stage of the season? And again, predicted to go about fifth or sixth this season. So Maradona's done well to even be getting these boys into the title challenge chase. Can we go one step further? Here's Lorano. Ball across. Headed down. No, we're going to be sharper than that. He's like, he's Juan Sebastian Veron in there. <laughs> Better not be. A little bit unfair if you've got Veron, even if he's 55 now. All right, here's Moreno. Gerardo is in the lower. Can play out from the back. Tijuana have the attacking mentality. Gerardo to see if they can find pockets of space like this that Tijuana are going to leave open. He had to make that challenge. Oh, he's got to be taking his name. He's Bolanios. Malaplan. Bolanios. Gets past his man. Bolanios. He's put it wide. Saw the wheat. <laughs> the white to the keeper's eyes and completely missed it. Once he was in, his pace was too much for Moreno. I couldn't get back at him. He held off the Pagsy as well. Um, oh my lordy. That was pretty shocking, I must admit. Alright. I have to go along this time. Hernandez underneath it. Chikorito doesn't win his header. Played out. Tijuana so far enjoying a bit more of the attacking spell. Might have to match fire with fire, brothers, and go attacking soon, I think. There's Belanta. Out wide. Rudy Perez, where's the marking? Another cross coming in. Cleared away again. Thank you, referee. I'm going to say. No boy around. Normally we uh, give away bloody free kicks like that. All right. Free kicks in a lower. We're gonna have to go along in this bad boy. One ball up. Chicarito underneath it. Headed down. Can't win that header there though. Ball across. Here's Lorana. De Bragri. Back again. Vela Cruz. Bagheri. Nice little switch again. Club Tijuana again. And like in his possession. Go go short. Ah, lucky Chicarito. I thought I had an untap. I thought I read it like a book. Again, back inside. Except De Villa. He's done well on that side. And again, Balanios is in. One more time. Oh, no, made his man. Again, Suara gets in there. Tijuana. I don't know why they're in 10th position because they're a good cup side. Ball inside. Nicely done. Gerardo Sinaloa are going to have to use all their passing abilities. Training sessions they've been using under Maradona. Try and break down this Tijuana team. But at the moment, they're pressing. Everything. And Ezekiel's in behind now. Can't get there. Real wet again. And there'll be a goal kick for Tijuana. The shielding is out at the moment. Oh, nice. Ha! <laughs> I took it back. Tijuana defender got a touch. And De La Fuente can take the corner ball. Ball's in. Hernandez. Bounding around. Tijuana clear their lines. Nelipan to Balanios. Caused problems all day. Oh, come on, referee. That was clean as a whistle, man. Oh, my goodness. Look, ball one. Come on, man. Ain't that some bull dookie? Here's Miranda. Ball over the top. Getting cleared out. We can't win it. Here's Miranda again. Nicely won. Valero takes the ball on. You can see Chicorito. Oh, Chicorito hasn't got the legs anymore for that kind of running. At the moment, we are not getting any kind of possession to try and get some kind of attacking movement on the goal. Can't win the ball through. Miranda. Nice little switch across. With Villa, ball in. Lanios. Shielded out. Does go back out to Lorna. Cuts back in. Absolutely does me a few times. Bobbling around. Sora picks it up. Tries to get Dorados going. Early doors. Chicorito can't win it. Tijuana again back in there. At the moment, this title will be going to Club America, especially if they're winning. Shot from distance. And Dierado survive again. We can't keep letting these shots come in. We need to change something up. Let's go more attacking. Last five minutes. See if we can get something. Get these players pushed forward a bit. Ball inside is Leo. Has to cut back in. Valero. And like I said, Tijuana just closing every door, but Valero is powering through. Again, the poor ball behind Ezekiel. Just not got our rhythm and flow today. T1 
Tijuana clear their lines, but half time whistle blows. We've not been breached, so to speak, but we're not breaching Tijuana either. Tijuana nil, the Rados is going to lower nil. We've got 45 minutes away, but look at that. No shots, hardly any possession. Like I said, if Club America losing, this will be enough for us to win the opening stage, but i got a funny feeling. Oh my goodness. I've got a funny feeling they won't be losing to Quattario. And we do need like a 3 or 4 0 win here, really. Hernandez again. This time they have made a mistake, though, Tijuana. And Dorados can play through, but Leo's giving away a ball again. But Valero wins it back one more time. Plays Leo through, but the ball's going to be too long. It goes out of play. Lucky Valero. We're going to stay attacking, though. Tijuana seems to have gone down a mentality. Bazia doesn't win it. Perez can get there, but again, on the wrong back foot. That's a spin move. Can't get the ball off. Tijuana have been doing weights all week. Every one of them is strong as an ox. Blocked away. Don't even give me that free kick crap referee. Corner ball? What? That's the reason why I left it. All right, follow your runners. Come on, Leo. You know he's going short here. Get there. Back stick. So I get it again now. Again, saw a long kick up. Hernandez, beautiful. Ah, come on. And the A is not switched onto it. Ball out wide. Here's Lorna. Back in again. Dorado's now putting that pressure on. Using that Gen Gen press. Tijuana having to back up a little bit. They're going to have to go long. And Dorado sitting lower, win the ball back. Ball inside. Chicorito. Nice little touch in. Ball across again. Chicorito. It's it. It's in. Javier Hernandez has got the goal and Dorados is in a lower lead in Tijuana. Will that be enough to win the league? 1-0 up. As long as Club America aren't doing the same, Dorados will become champions. Ball in. Finally broken their resolve. Chicorito, nice little flick around. Valero played him back in. And Hernandez does what Hernandez does. And he finishes them chances. Beautiful. Lovely little touch here. Valero did well to keep hold of it. Played him back through. And Hernandez... Side foot finish into the corner. Tijuana nil. Dorados is still a lower one. Remember, like I said, we are three goal goal different behind Club America. So like I said we need them to draw or lose unless we can find another two or three goals here in this game. 25 left to play. The main thing now for Maradona is just to win this game. Our points will be added up. Our wins will be added up for the closing stage. So even if we don't win it. To be joint on points with Club America will put us in real good stead for the second half of the season. Try and win it. Ball across again. It's the Villa. Tijuana all of a sudden playing like madmen. Can't get the ball back off him. Ball inside. They're passing it around like nobody's business. Intercepted. Referee didn't give a free kick. Nice. Sometimes they get him on that one. And Dorados can clear their lines. Is he here? Just waiting for Perez's run. There is Perez now. It looks like he's running through treacle sometimes, but he gets there. And Perez can whip this ball in. It's back there. Ah, come on, Perez. That was piss poor. Somebody tell me what that means in Spanish, please. I've got to learn that thing. Pisio Poro. Here's Miranda. Fuentes. Ah. Camacho. Inside. Again, they've been dangerous all game. Up front. Here's Fuentes again. We can't hold him off. No cross, no cross. He's left him out wide though. Don't let the ball back to him. Tijuana try to cut inside now. Try something different. Back to Fuentes again. Valero's trying to come across. Valero does win it. And then out of Sinaloa again. Trying to hit that counter. Ezekiel. That's going to be ambitious that. He can't pick up the loose pass in Tijuana do. But again, Leo is back there. Beautiful. And away goes Leo. Last five minutes. Tijuana are tired as well. Leo's got plenty of room to run into. They're not marking him. not following him. He has to stop his run now. Oh, referee! What the hell? Ha! He might as well just shot him with a 12 ball shotgun, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yo got taken out like nobody's business. Here's Chigarito. Can't win that second ball, though. Tijuana. Trying to push for an equalizer. And that's it. Dorados is in a low win. But as you can see from the players' faces, Club America also won their game. Maradona's men have their heads down, but they've got to be proud. They fought all the way. 
and taking Club America to the last game. It's been goal difference, brothers. We win our game here. Don't know how. Again, Tijuana had the better of it. But we managed to sneak that win. Valero, man of the match. Rightfully so. Uh, so Club America won 1-0. So yeah, we needed to win 4-0 anyway in that one. Um, but opening stage, I mean, look at that. We are six points clear of Cruz Alazuz, though. So when it comes to the closing stage, we just need to try and get some of them draws and wins back uh, and beat Club America as well. That's going to be a massive, massive game, that one. And again, I do believe it's at home. Uh, so team of the season, Chicaritos in there. So is Yale. Uh, so it's only the opening stage, remember, brothers. Uh, club ranking. I don't think it overly matters what club rank we actually are, but we'll have a little Pat Butchers anyway. Uh, 161st <laughs> uh, So yeah, like I said brothers with this competition um, in Mexico Whereabouts are we at? Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, so as you can see brothers, there's an there's an opening stage and the closing stage The closing stage has no standings whatsoever. We have an overall stage uh, Which again as you can see is the opening one as well So I mean Club America are in the opening ones, but it doesn't matter It's the closing one we want because that gets us into the Copa Libertadores But like I said if you win the Mexican League and the Mexican Cup We can then move on to maybe Argentina or Chile if you want and try something different um, But yeah in the meantime brothers what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just go a bit further forward um, The next game will be Tigres and Leon again. This is always nice nice little classic one in there I'll have a look at some transfers um, I honestly don't know like I said, money-wise, we ain't really the richest club in Mexico. So unless maybe there was interest in De La Fuente, which I was tempted to at 33 just to sell him. Um, we've got some job offers here for Maradona. Like I said, I don't think what we'll do. We could use this as like a proper job where we go everywhere. Because even then, look at that. We've got a couple of jobs in Chile. This is Mexico. Uh, the Ubalas of Chile. And that's, I don't know where the hell that is. Toyota League. Um, so yeah, I think we pick our own team maybe to go to. Maybe we do a season in Mexico, and then we do maybe go Argentina or Brazil or something like that, maybe, brothers. All right, we're not going to change jobs anyway. And then we may even finish with an Argentina national job or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, scouts have come back with some things. Let's see if there's any uh, Mexicano brothers in there. But even that, look at that, Valdivida. I mean, how much is he worth? What? He's only worth 900 grand. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a release fee of zero. Wait, <laughs> wait, back up, back up. I could sign him for zero. Oh, 350 grand. That's not bad. So he's a good option. And we've got quite a bit of actual uh, money in the bank for salary wise. Vasquez is Mexican. I like that. Not bad. I think we've already got another thing. Brazilian keeper, Peruvian, Brazilian, Chilean. We do need another left back. I'll put him on there. Uh, only reason being, we do. I mean, there isn't many Mexicano brothers that are left backs on this. Where's his brother from? Argentina. Look at that. Franco, the destroyer. He's a beast. I'm going to put on the shortlist anyway, because you never know. Maradona might move and take him with him somewhere. Um, but yeah, like I said, money wise, we've got 40 million as well, actually. Uh, the Youth Academy is the original bad boys. We only had a couple of decent Mexicans in there. So let's press on, actually. Let's get the opening day of the transfer window up and running. Um, yeah, I want to remain manager of this club. In the club. All right. So let's see. We should get a youth team take. I don't know who we're going to get or what we're going to get. I think we're going to have the chairman breathing down our neck about something though first. What's this guy want? All right. He sat on Maradona's desk. You must be mad. This is a World Cup winner, man. Get your ass off my desk. Uh, okay. We're very pleased with you. Yeah, okay. Eyes on the prize. Keep wins rolling. I mean, this guy points out the obvious. Of course, we'll give it our all. Maradona, ignore him, Maradona. Don't even worry about him, Maradona. All right. Oh, we've got a bid in for somebody. So, De La Fuente. That's like three million from the Katza. Ah. Thing is, he's 33, but he's a beast, though, isn't he? But he's on his way down. Look. And we've also got, oh, what's his Pacobre? Salary? Oh, we've got a bid in for him. No, proposed salary. He wants an extra. He wants double his money. What are you smoking on? So, I mean, we've got him to step into the mix. Um, oh, my lordy. What's going on here? What the hell's this? Are these contracts running out? We've got a bid and a contract. We've got two point something bidding for Bugani as well. But Cobre is just requesting um, a free transfer. A transfer for... What, we've got a transfer of 48 grand? What's the point? 
And 27 grand for him. We'd need a backup keep if we got rid of one of them two. All right, let's have a look at the youth academy. That's what we've been waiting for. What have we got? We've got D. Oh, my Lord. This is it. This is it. The brothers from the European one. Oh, my goodness. I mean, look at this bulldookie. Ay, ay, ay. Puto cabron. All right, okay. This ain't, this ain't bowling well. I mean, to be fair, the first season, you don't really get anyone decent coming through anyway, to be honest. Um, let's have a quick look over our rating. Uh, Takimoto. We could get a Japanese brother down here. It's giving me a lot of... Uh... Oh, okay. Jude Bellingham. <laughs> Donaldinho <laughs> from the old uh, Reggae Bar Rovers, bad boy. Uh, we could get Corona in there from Reggae Bar Rovers. Where's he at? He's in a Russian league. Okay. Um, he's at Nimes. Hey, brothers. All these brothers are different clubs. Figo's at Reds. <laughs> Donaldinho's a free agent. Uh, where's Chambers at? Estudiantes. Oh, my goodness. Um, but, yeah. What we're going to have to do... In fact, let's go. Um, I'll do this all off camera. I'll, I'll find some brothers that we're going to sign. I think we've got to make at least one signing with that 14 million. Um, hopefully, we can sign an awesome Mexican. Two Mexicans did come through. Uh, Lumbarias. He's not bad, you know. Only 16 as well. What are you saying? 7 million? You must be on crack. All right, okay. Um, in fact, let's give it a that. In fact, no, let's uh, let's let's be a bit more realistic about this bad boy. Oh, we've got 40 million in the bank, haven't we? Uh, market value. Oh my lordy, no one's got that kind of money. Let's go, let's go 13. All right, Mexican. Oh, okay, quite a few. All right, Cocorado's in there. Ah, oh, Alvarez, how much are you worth? Nine million. Release fee 10. On 28 grand a week. You know, I mean, it's not the place we need to a position we need really. He's thirty-one years old. Hernandez, Lapazzi, most of our guys, Achoa, Equino, uh, left wing. I like this guy. One six eight, eleven million release fee. Okay, okay, okay. You can go on the bench. Uh, Gutierrez. See you again. PSV, bad boy. We could sell De La Fuente. And get this bad boy in. Five million. Release fee six. Yeah, I think it's time we got some decent Mexican. No, hey, we've got, we've got decent ones in there, but let's get some household names in the house. All right, brothers. Well, I'm going to have a little gander at this, try and do some negotiations for the nations. We'll come back for a little bit of Tigres action uh, and Leon as well. Um, so we'll get into the closing stage. We'll also be hitting straight up with that. Uh, uh, cup somewhere in there there we go semi-finals against atlas so again the cup will be we're pretty much done pretty quick um we won't be messing about so we're into the second half of the season already and we'll review at the end if maradona is going to make a move to say argentina or brazil or maybe a national job we'll have a gander brothers but in the meantime smash the ras on that like button hit the subscribe button if you're new Wagwa, and welcome to the channel hit the notification bell and then miss a video that way peace and love brothers and i'll see you on the flip side peace